Today is Saturday, July 15, 2023. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia speaking. In this video, I will be talking about Hurricane Calvin, which is currently located in the eastern Pacific region between Mexico and the Hawaiian Islands. This cyclone poses a threat to Hawaii, where it is expected to arrive as a tropical storm on Tuesday night or early Wednesday morning. This video is of special interest to the residents and visitors of the Hawaiian Islands. Please remember to share this video with family and friends who live in this area so they can be prepared for the impact of this cyclone. As predicted, what was once tropical storm Calvin underwent a rapid intensification process in the last 48 hours and became the first major hurricane of the eastern Pacific hurricane season yesterday. It reached Category 3 with maximum sustained winds of 125 miles per hour. However, over the past 12 hours, we have observed a continued weakening process as forecasted. It is currently a Category 2 hurricane with maximum sustained winds of 105 miles per hour. As you may recall from the last video, Hurricane Calvin was expected to move over cooler ocean surface temperatures. This means that the opportunity for further strengthening has passed, and it reached its peak intensity yesterday. Currently, it is moving over ocean surface temperatures of around 25 to 26 degrees Celsius, providing only marginal conditions for the continuation of a tropical cyclone. Additionally, it is moving through a fairly dry area, which will also contribute to further weakening as it continues westward and approaches the Hawaiian Islands. As we had forecasted several days ago, the track models continue to show good consensus. You can see that all of them bring the cyclone over the Hawaiian Islands on Wednesday or Thursday as a tropical storm. Direct effects are expected, including some gusty tropical storm force winds and rainfall that may cause localized flooding throughout the island archipelago. Later, I will show you the projected wind gusts and total accumulated rainfall forecast for Hawaii. Furthermore, there is a high level of agreement in the intensity forecast. All the models predict a continued weakening process over the next 48 to 72 hours. It is expected to weaken again to a tropical storm by tomorrow, Sunday, as it approaches Hawaii. It is forecasted to have winds between 35 to 45 miles per hour, which would classify it as a tropical storm. These are definitely good news, as this cyclone will be weakening, and the effects on Hawaii should not be too extreme. Again, this weakening is due to the fact that ocean surface temperatures remain cold throughout much of the eastern Pacific, precisely where Hurricane Calvin is crossing. This band of cold waters is protecting Hawaii, which is good news as it will prevent further intensification before reaching the islands. If we look at the satellite's infrared forecast and projection according to the American model, you can see that over the next 36 to 72 hours, Hurricane Calvin is expected to lose most of its rain and thunderstorm coverage. According to this projection, it would reach the Hawaiian Islands greatly weakened, but with some tropical storm force winds and rainfall that may cause flooding issues. According to the official forecast from the National Hurricane Center, the storm is expected to maintain its current track, as shown by the best track models. It should regain tropical storm status on Sunday morning and then continue on its trajectory, reaching Hawaii on Tuesday night or Wednesday morning. The top global models agree with this forecast. Here we have the American model, the GFS, which shows a weak tropical storm reaching Hawaii, similar to the European model's forecast. In the following animation, you can see the projected wind gusts. Expect some gusts between 40 to 45 miles per hour affecting the Hawaiian Islands starting in the early hours of Wednesday and extending until Wednesday night. Although windy conditions are expected, this wind should not cause major issues or damage throughout the region. In the next animation, you will see the Doppler radar forecast. Notice how the rainfall approaches the Hawaiian Islands. The first rain bands may arrive on Tuesday night and continue throughout Wednesday. It is expected to be a rainy day, with some areas receiving up to 6 inches of rain, especially near the city of Hilo. Generally, rainfall amounts of 2 to 3 inches are expected. These accumulations will be significant, and we hope they do not cause major flooding issues. Well, that's all for the preview of this video. Tomorrow, I will be recording a new video to discuss the tropical waves that we anticipate will develop in the Atlantic region next week. Until then, I hope everyone has an excellent weekend.